I talked about business buying and consumer buying are everything that we talked about consumer buying applies to business buying. This involves the business buying process as well. Um, everything that we talked about for the consumer buying process applies to businesses as well. Uh, they go through those same stages, need recognition, identify alternatives, evaluate alternatives, make the decision, and then you have your post-purchase experience with the product. Um, but in the business market, there are some additional things that if we take those into account, we might do a more effective job of marketing to businesses. One of the first thing is, what is the nature of the purchase? Um, we've got new task buying, which is a, you're buying something for the first time. Um, typically in a business setting, if you're buying something for the first time, especially if it's a relatively expensive purchase, you're probably going to put a lot, you know, involvement is high, financial risk is high. Uh, you probably put a lot of time and effort into the purchase. Um, the the um, other side of that coin is a straight rebuy, and this is just where you're reordering something that you already use. And in today's market, if you know, the auto, rebuys should be automated. Um, because uh, as we talked about, if, if I already know what I'm going to buy, what I'm going to pay for it, and how much I'm going to, to buy, why would I have pay somebody to talk to somebody else who's getting paid to negotiate that deal? Just let the computers work it out. And, and that is, it happens today is you, when you're in the grocery store, you, you scan a jug of detergent um, in the scanner and that sends a signal to the warehouse that we're down one jug of detergent and that sends a signal to Procter & Gamble to put another jug of detergent on the next shipment of that so that we don't have to worry about that. And then maybe the buyer and the, uh, the salesperson will get together once a quarter or once a year just to review sales and to ne negotiate the larger deal. Then you've got the modified rebuy. I just love that. Straight buy, modified rebuy. Um, this is where you have experience purchasing the product, um, but for some reason you're not happy. Um, and this is, uh, yeah, we talked about either the, uh, you had a bad experience with your product or you got some new inquirements, or and this is true, your, your boss uh, read in US News and World Report that there's a really cool new product out there and tells you to get it. <laughs> um, so, these are, from a sales perspective, and I get that's where I'm... How would your boss tell you to get a new product via modified rebuy? So, so the question is, uh, how would the boss telling me to buy a new product would be a modified rebuy? So, for example, if I'm buying copier paper, and your boss says, oh, we need to get environmentally friendly coffee paper, co copy paper. Or if I got computer, I need an energy efficient computer, or we need to get hybrid cars for our fleet. Yes, yes, sir. Um, and the, kind of the, the, the gospel according to Bruce on this is, is new task buying. This is the deals that are made on the golf course. And you've heard that business is made on the golf course. And it's just through networking is, you know, you never know when a business is going to have a new need. So just maintaining relationships with people in your network helps you identify when possibly uh, an opportunity is coming up and allows you to to get into the early stages of a conversation. And, and the ideal in, in a new task buy is to be able to get in in the early stages of the conversation as a trusted advisor. So for example, if, uh, um, if I happen to be selling uh, hybrid cars and I'm playing golf with a guy and he says, I got a friend over there that's going to go to uh, hybrid cars for their fleet, um, I might say, you know, um, before you talk to anybody, let's get together because I'm in that business and I can tell you what to look for when you're buying hybrid cars. Okay, And that gets you in the door and it also helps you set the frame, establish the criteria for evaluation that would be favorable to you. Um, straight rebuy, you don't want to spend time and money on it. And then the modified rebuy, uh, there's a guy that I used to read called Harvey McKay, his sales guy. Um, and he had what he called the strong second place strategy. And this is where the strong second place strategy comes into mind. Um, in sales, you continue to call on customers who aren't buying from you right now. We call them potential customers, we call them prospects, and this is why. 
is, you know, you keep calling on them, no, 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 and then something happens, they're unhappy with their supplier, and they say, I'm glad you're here, we know you, we trust you, let's go. And, and this, the, the strategy behind the strong second place approach is that if you stand in second place in enough lines, sooner or later you're going to move up to first in some of them. 